Yeah, I'm Glenn Rosak. I'm the uh, VP of Strategy and Operations for Advanced Services. And I just want to talk a little bit about uh, the importance of uh, hepatitis B screening and awareness in the Asian community and the broader community about hepatitis B and how it can lead to liver cancer. Um, this has really brought home to me because uh, a personal friend from years ago uh, died from liver cancer uh, two years ago. And he mentioned to me that he had been diagnosed with hepatitis B, but uh, I never really drew the connection. And now learning how serious an issue this is for the Asian community and obviously therefore the Asian employee base in, in Cisco has really drawn me to uh, want to educate people, to really get sh make sure that people understand uh, the statistics, understand that it's a, it's a silent illness, that you can be infected and not know and that it's treatable, that uh, we can both do things to vaccinate against hepatitis B and then treat uh, both hepatitis B and liver cancer so that uh, you know, the outcome's not like the one that unfortunately took my friend. Stanford Liver Center relationship uh, came because of the opportunity that I had as a representative of Cisco to participate in an Asian leadership forum sponsored by Cisco, IBM, General Electric, and the Hong Kong Shanghai Bank. And there I, re I met the real hero of this whole program, is uh, Dr. So, who's the founder of the Asian Liver Center at Stanford. Uh, he was very much out there to educate all of us in the business community about these issues. And of course, uh, he presented the opportunity to everyone in the room about uh, the opportunity to spread the word. And so as soon as I got back to Cisco in California, I, uh, I got the, uh, the ERG involved and we placed a call to Dr. So and his staff. And of course, everyone's been really excited about, about doing this. It's really the first program that uh, has been taken on with such uh, aggressiveness and commitment in, at, uh, at Cisco. So hopefully this will be a model for other companies. So the Asian Liver Center is the first and only nonprofit in the U.S. Uh, founded specifically to address the high incidence of uh, hepatitis B and liver cancer in the Asian population. So hepatitis B and liver cancer disproportionately affect the Asian population uh, compared to the rest of the general population. It affects almost 1 in 10 Asians uh, compared with maybe 1 in 1,000 non-Asians or Caucasians. So our goal is to educate um, and really just bring large-scale awareness to this uh, so that Asians will get tested and get vaccinated if they're not infected and see their doctors and talk to their doctors about this. So we do this through a variety of ways. We do it through outreach, through education, advocacy, and research. Um, one of the things we've done to bring awareness to this is we've started the Jade Ribbon Campaign, which is right here. And the goal of the Jade Ribbon Campaign is really just to unite people. The Jade Ribbon is shaped like the Chinese character for a person because it's a campaign of people helping each other, spreading the message, and uniting to fight hepatitis B. <coughs> Our partnership with Cisco is very unique. It's the first time that uh, a very large multinational corporation has chosen to undertake uh, screening and educating their uh, employee base, especially their Asian employee base. So Glenn Osaka, who is the Vice President at Cisco, attended a meeting uh, in New York where our Executive Director was speaking about Hepatitis B and the prevalence in the Asian population. And Glenn was really just shocked to find out about the statistics and wondered why Asians weren't more aware and he wanted to know what he could do to protect his patients. So he contacted us and said, we need to collaborate and really get the word out, especially among Cisco employees because such a large percentage of them are of Asian descent. So we got together and we're working with the Life Connection Health Center, which is their health center on campus here, uh, to offer a large scale screening event today. Um, and people have been coming in all day to get their hepatitis B tests. So for those who want more information about hepatitis B, they can visit our website, which is httpliver.stanford.edu. Now on that website, you'll find lots of information that's focused both for physicians and for patients. We have brochures available for download in PDF format, and they're in six different Asian languages. Um, and there are also videos and events so people can learn about what's going on about hepatitis B and liver cancer. In addition, people can, if they miss the screening event, they can go to screening events throughout the Bay Area. Um, they can go to our sites uh, in Santa Clara County, which they can find on our website in San Francisco through the San Francisco Hep B Free Program. 
Uh, but we really encourage people just to see their physicians. So they can see their personal physicians or they can come to Life Connections Health Center, make an appointment here with the physicians here and get screened for hepatitis B or get follow-up if they are diagnosed with hepatitis B.